hello ua path experts uh, so today i am i came up with uh, uh, the new concept called a facebook uh, time count so what basically it will do so it will just uh, uh, the the robot is running in the bottom so what it will do it will monitor if you are using the facebook or not if you if you are using the facebook how much time you use the facebook how much time you are in active in the facebook page so if it is a, if you close the facebook so again uh, one more time second time if you open the facebook it will start counting okay so here is a robot is running in the, this is a robot so if you still not subscribe to the channel just subscribe this channel so so that uh, you can become a learner to expert so uh, i keep on posting the different uh, kind of things so here the board is running this is a board so just observe this uh, output panel okay observe this output panel so i'm just opening the facebook.com uh, see the output panel so it is counting it is keep on counting how many seconds i i, I am in uh, facebook so currently in the left right hand side i open the facebook so i am just seeing the facebook uh, this kind of things so in the background of this uh, browser if you observe the output panel it is the counting is increasing how many seconds you are how many milliseconds you are in the facebook so observe just i am closing the facebook so once i close the facebook what will happen in the output panel just see in the output panel it is stopped counting okay that means it passes it stopped the counting so 33 seconds i spent in the first half i'm just opening facebook again facebook i'm just in the facebook again next time i'm not in facebook if, if you observe the thing in the back side of the ui path the output panel it is again start counting the my time how much time i am in the facebook okay so i'm seeing the facebook so and again i am stopping the facebook here so what happened in the background of the output panel it stopped again it passes if you reopen the facebook then it will start the counting Do you observe here? It's counting now. Okay, 11, 11 seconds, 12 seconds, 13, 14 seconds, 15 seconds, like that. So if I close this one, what will happen? 1 minute 18 seconds. That's it. So that is the magic of this one. Again, I'm opening the Facebook. So if you open the Facebook, it will immediately start the counting. So that is the thing I did in the UA path uh, uh, robotic process automation tool. So we will see what exactly it is uh, doing the coding. Okay. First, I take in the flowchart. So within the flowchart, I have a, a sequence called uh, one small sequence. Here it is uh, just looking for that uh, F. Okay. In the Facebook, there is a F icon, right? In the Facebook, it is searching for that F icon, that F span. So if it does, this is the element exist uh, activity. So element exist activity. So here you have a is FB open. So is FB open is the one argument, boolean argument. So once the Facebook icon is appearing, uh, exist in the Chrome, it will return the true. Otherwise it will return the false. After that I take in the decision whether it is a Facebook is open or not. If it is a Facebook is not opened, it will go to the again another decision like a is it is the first time or not. Is is start is the one boolean vari variable. So I declare the is status started is a false in initial stage. So if it is a is status is a false, again it is asking to the uh, checking for the Facebook icon. Again it will check if it is a Facebook is not open then check if it is a first if it is a true that means facebook is open in the first time it will write the 
code it will write the see here there is a timestamp I used timestamp uh, within that there is a stop watch stop watch is a one object that is a stop watch class so stop watch is a one object that is a stop watch class object what is a system dot diagnostics dot stop watch that is a, a namespace for the stop watch class okay so initially you have to declare the object by uh, once you declare the empty object so first you need to do this installation like a new stop watch like that so it is it is just uh, checking is it is a first time if it is a first time what it will do if it, if it is a, not first time it will give the is start equal to true if it is a first time it will go to the uh, go and start the process okay so for the first time it will go and start the process so then it is connected this process this is a invoke method invoke method i use the object and uh, the method name there is a two methods i used one is a start and stop so if the facebook is started uh, it will start so if the facebook is close it will stop okay stop the status that watch so here in the bright line i am using the by using the step watch object i'm displaying the hours minutes seconds milliseconds like that okay so nothing is this step watch dot elapsed milliseconds dot hours step watch dot elapsed hours dot minutes and step watch dot elapsed dot seconds and step finally there is a milliseconds that's it so what it will do it will again go to the start searching for the this is a loop continuously loop okay so thanks for watching this video so so i will keep on updating and also uh, if you want i will put the this project into the google drive and share the links okay if you still not yet subscribed my channel uipod.learner you, you just subscribe this one channel and also share the videos to others so that uh, people can learn more and more and uh, do the miracles thank you very much uh, my dear uh, experts thank you very much bye bye